How's it going, Lynchpin fam? Uh, today's date is now September 23rd, 2022, and this is uh, my home gym tour. Uh, I started Lynchpin during uh, lockdown. So it was, I think, maybe February of 2020 that I started. Been doing CrossFit for about 12 years I started at a local affiliate here in Colorado uh, Colorado Surge bounced around between that and uh, another friend's CrossFit gym CrossFit mob they're still around I think they're still thriving so they're doing well but during uh, lockdown I decided I uh, wanted to uh, kind of make uh, my dreams come true with making a home gym the uh, place that we moved into was specifically uh, chosen to have kind of high ceilings in the basement with concrete floors. And then I, uh, I found a place that has um, kind of extra space in the garage. So I've kind of got a basement gym and I've got a garage gym. And then we also have a Peloton because uh, my wife really wanted a Peloton. So we've kind of got uh, a home gym displaced throughout several areas of the house but um here's my um here's my tour okay uh so starting with um let's see if i can turn this around i guess not um so starting with uh kind of um the main piece of the home gym this is the rep fitness apollo half rack um, it's been upgraded from just a squat stand that I had, um, but this is kind of my pride and joy of the home gym. Um, it kind of works for a lot of different things from everything that you need from uh, a pull-up bar to obviously a squat rack to storage for um, all my bumper plates. All my bumper plates are the, um, um, I don't know if it even shows here. But it's uh, the high temp bumper plates. I've got 45s uh, down there, 25s, 10s and 15s listed over here. Uh, some steel five pound plates, two and a half pound plates. And then I went ahead and uh, bought some fractional plates from Rogue. Um, um, moving around. Um, it's also serves as my pull-up bar up there. Uh, I can do um, pull-ups, chest-to-bar pull-ups, uh, not uh, muscle-ups, but muscle-ups are pretty uh, hit or miss anyways. Uh, I've attached a set of rings over here to do some low ring muscle-ups. Um, also bought some um, uh, spotter um, spotters for the rack, which helps on uh, bench press days. Um, over to the corner I was able to pick um, the barbell holder off of Facebook for about 90 bucks um, got myself which one is I think this one is the uh, men's rogue Ohio bar this is a boneyard uh, Bella bar uh, my wife wanted the Cerakote purple so that's what that is I've gotten uh this other bar here, am I showing it? It's kind of a, I think it's made out of uh, aluminum. And this one, I believe only weighs 15 pounds. It's kind of a training bar. And then I've got um, PVC pipe for uh, Bergen warm ups and just warm ups in general. Um, uh, my floor. I have set up with a bunch of uh, four by six, three quarter inch stall mats. All of them were purchased secondhand from, um, I think they were all from CrossFit gyms that were upgrading their floors. And I got pretty good deals on them because most of them come with these cutouts that were used for um, the pull-up rigs. So I just pieced together different spots and then just put some uh, Gorilla Tape over it. So I was able to get them for uh, pretty cheap, um, but for what I want and what I need, it serves its purpose pretty good. Um, 
I've also got a couple of ab mats uh, for my wife and I. Uh, a soft plyo box from Rep Fitness. Um, this one goes 24, 16, and I believe 20 inches. Got a couple of crash pads down here because we've got a, um, three little ones and the baby still naps quite a bit. Um, the walls in the basement and pretty much all the basement is unfinished. So one day we've got some things that we'd like to do. Uh, included among that is this, um, this stall bar that I got also on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, one day when we can get some uh, framing done, we'll be able to get that loaded up. Um, this is my young daughter, Birdie. Uh, say hi. This is Birdie's birthday. She's three years old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, we did it. Um, Birdie makes her appearances on my videos every once in a while. Because um, my basement also serves as their, um, their uh, play area. Getting back to the uh, home gym. Uh, I bought the uh, this rack. I think you could just get this online or at Dick's Sporting Goods, but I bought this second hand for about 70 bucks. And then I've got um, 18 pound kettlebell. I believe this one is 35 pounds, uh, 35 pounds. And then this one is the 53 pound kettlebell. I also have this Ikea um, storage cart. It's got a couple of smaller dumbbells, some uh, small bands. I've also put all of my dry eraser markers. Speaking of dry eraser, there's my whiteboard. Um, also sits on the ground because we don't have walls yet. Right underneath that is uh, a bench also found on Facebook Marketplace used. Going back to the rack, um, I've got a pair of uh, 10 pound, 25, 35 pound uh, dumbbells. And then I have a pair of 40 pound dumbbells up in the garage that um, I keep up there. Got a couple of slam balls from Rep Fitness, 30 pounds and 20 pounds. I got some chalk over here. Some of my shoes, lifting belt, jump rope. Um, got my chalk bag over here. Behind my uh, gym chair, I've got um, this uh, step that uh, I don't think we've ever used. Got a foam roller. I don't know if you could even see any of this stuff, but to help with um, some uh, mobility, I use the foam roller to stretch out. Um, I've got, uh, this is my gym chair, also found used, but I find myself resting on this quite a bit. This is my boy, Jonathan. Say hi. Hi. Uh, do you want to show him your guys' play area? Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So um, this also serves as a lot of uh, uh, a fun for the kids. But part of the unfinished basement provides for lots of fun things for the kids. Uh, it's pretty much covered in these foam tiles. We've got a uh, trampoline in the corner. Some sort of foam thing for the kids here. We got the super cool ball pit over here. Um, basketball hoop over there. Balance beam here. This crazy contraption is called the Jumperoo. It's got a uh, Inflatable tube over there. That's right. We got it in Brandon. And uh, Brandon was a uh, Toyota Tacoma that I have uh, since sold. But I used to love that truck. Still do. Also part of the home gym for cardio. Uh, I got this, um, got this treadmill. Uh, used for about 400 bucks. Thought that was a pretty good deal. And uh, also I have the Concept 2 rower. 
uh, used for about, I think it was 800 bucks when I bought that. But that's pretty much it for the uh, basement gym. We'll uh, walk up to, we'll walk up to the garage and finish up this tour. All right, so for the garage gym, here's just a brief look at the garage space that is used to house two cars. But the uh, nice thing about this gym, we also have this area that goes pretty deep into the garage. So I'm able to create a uh, a secondary gym that has different advantages. The ceiling is 11 feet high, so um, I use, let me see if I could get it in picture. That yellow tape up there marks my wall ball spot for 10 foot targets for wall balls. So that being said, I've used some uh, garage storage space to house 14 pound med ball, 20 pound med ball. Uh, I've got a 60 pound sandbag. And then back here for my wife, I believe that one is maybe a 45 pound sandbag. Um, got some jump ropes. Um, Got some cones. These were pretty cheap off of Amazon. I've got some collars, uh, some more collars. And then I've got another set of bumpers down here. Also high temp bumpers, but I got my 15s, 25s, and 10s and 45s just kind of uh, mixed in right there. I've got another, I think this one is actually um, I think it's just the Rogue 2.0 bar that I got off of Facebook. And then this is uh, another Bella bar for my wife. I don't think this has ever been used, which is a shame because it's probably the nicest barbell that we have. Um, Plyo box up there. So that one goes uh, 24, 20, and 30. Uh, I think that's what it is. I've also got this handy thing, um, measuring wheel. I haven't used it at all. Um, but the purpose was to obviously measure out space so I could do whatever runs that are programmed into linchpin uh, programming. Uh, what I ended up using is just Google Maps and I've uh, found different uh, marks for 400, uh, I, I think, 100 and uh, mile markers throughout my neighborhood. So I know the distances that I need to run. Uh, I believe this thing needs no explanation. Um, the Echo Bike and I are not friends. Uh, I really wish I was better at this thing, but it's a great uh, machine and I hate it, but I think I'm not alone in my sentiment there. But it's also a great machine for working out. All right, next, uh, suspended uh, from up there. I think um, that's just called the um, stringer for um, rings. But I was also able to uh, not only get some rings suspended from up there, but also a climbing rope. So uh, even though most rope climbs are um, usually written up for 15 foot rope climbs, I just start from the floor on my back and then I uh, use 
um, my hands until I can actually uh, get my feet up on the rope and then go up to uh, the 11 foot ceiling and then I use that as my rope climbs. Um, down here, I got my 40 pound dumbbells and then this, uh, this sandbag is actually uh, meant for 150 pounds, but that is too heavy for me. So I have filled it up and I believe it's 115 pounds. And the reason I use that is because um, this will, I don't know if you could see this patch. So let me see if I can pull it out. So um, for work, uh, I work for the Adams County Sheriff's Office in Colorado. And about two years ago, I gave up my team, or my spot on the SWAT team, but um, used to be a SWAT operator for our agency. <clears throat> and then getting back to the reason why I've got a sandbag that's weighed at 115 pounds, we used to have one of those Atlas stones that you could uh, mold for yourself. And it was tradition for us to carry that uh, Atlas stone that was weighed at 115 pounds for our rookie year of um, being a SWAT operator. So it was my job to carry around 115 pound rock for an entire year while the rest of the guys tried to steal it from me, making me do additional um, cleaning regimen or push-ups or whatever as punishment if I uh, didn't care, take care of that at Atlas stone. So. I decided to fill up my uh, heavy bag, uh, relatively heavy bag, for 115 pounds uh, in memory of those years that I spent on the SWAT team. Um, also outdoors, um, got a shirt. Um, it was actually a pretty cool shirt to me. Um, I think some of you will recognize. All right, but um, this was my level one shirt that I went and uh, earned myself. I don't even remember when it was. Uh, Mid-2010s, maybe 2014, 2015. Can't remember exactly when I got that, but um, I will keep this for as long as I possibly can, and I'm very proud to have it. Um, white vest. Uh, this was just uh, something I got to keep after I came off the SWAT team and then I just bought the, um, the plates from Rogue so that I've got a 20 pound uh, vest when um, we have anything like that programmed into our workouts. Um, here's my garage um, uh, pull-up bar. Uh, this one I can do muscle-ups if uh, muscle-ups are there on the day that we're trying to do them. More often than not, I don't have muscle-ups anymore, but um, you know, every once in a while, I can get them. Uh, same for uh, the rings. When I could uh, hoist them a little bit higher, because I'm lucky enough to have 11-foot ceilings on uh, my garage, if I have uh, muscle-ups, ring muscle-ups, I can actually do them here, which I'm pretty happy to do, or happy to have the capability to do. But um, yeah, um, other than that, um, it's just kind of a regular garage. But um, that's my gym. Uh, Thanks for letting me be a part of this amazing community. I really love having a home gym. I think it's been my pride and joy for the last two and a half years. And I love linchpin programming. I found it through just Instagram posts that you would see most uh, uh, Monster Monday mashups. Uh, is that what they're called? But the programming is second to none. I love um, how it keeps... Uh, kind of keeps in mind that we are real people. We've got lives that are very busy. We've got children, we've got work that we need to take care of. And um, I like the mindset that, you know, 
scaling is cool and you get what you can in and um, I think the community and the programming allows us to keep up with our fitness and also um, enjoy the sport of CrossFit on our own individual levels but also being a part of the community as well so thanks for visiting my home I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully this uh, this continues to grow. I'm excited about that. All right, thanks Lunchpin fam.